this is my first official repair on this channel. So this is a 23 inch AOC screen and it was listed as no power. I've plugged it in and can confirm there is no power. Even on the meter on the wall there is no current draw. So we'll open it up and see what's going on. So we've got two screws here. Now this screen was extremely cheap off eBay. It was £10 for a 23 inch LED IPS display which is pretty cheap. Which is also pretty worrying because it is so cheap. When stuff is cheap it usually means there's some underlying problem. But who knows, we'll give it a go. So it does look like it's been taken apart already. Let's just hope that we're better at fixing stuff than they were. Alright, so there's nothing under that. And to be honest, I think those was open up to fit the stand. So maybe we're right. see much on the screen but so it looks like it's gonna be one of these ones that's all clipped around the outside so I'll use my happy little spudger and try and get in there it's not gonna work use a metal one to start off and scratch the shit out of it probably right how do you come out Well, it's already, it's already slightly open in this corner anyway, so we'll go in from there. There's an awful lot of these little clips. Clip, clip, clip. Now this is a not super new screen. I think it's oh, it's missing all its screws, isn't it? Great. I think it's a 2014 screen. There's a manufacturing date on it. that I can see off the bat anyway. But let's get in there and see what's going on anyway. <sighs> okay, so we've got the majority of the clips off the top. It's just oh that's not a good view of my arm. Sorry about the views, but trying to get these clips not ideal. My camera setup is not ideal either.
Yeah. Right, and we are in like Flynn. Got a little cable, little cable plugged into the control PCB. So, this does look like it's been molested, all these EMI shieldings come off. Okay, let's go into a speakers, which I can plug. Get rid of this EMI shielding. Alright, we've got two screws holding this together, which looks like all it had, to be honest. Doesn't look like it's missing any screws. But it's currently been opened. Okay, so release that, and let's release the cable for the front screen. Oh, front keypad. And Keyboard setup, which is pretty common. <clears throat> we got obviously the video driver and the power board. <clears throat> Just sit down and have a look. Okay. video driver board to unplug the ribbon as I can get it. No, I can't I can't see what type of flat ribbon cable connector it is, so I'll have to take it out quickly. Because this is an LED backlit screen, it doesn't need a massive power supply to drive the CFL bulbs as a normal screen would have. Well, a old style screen, I should say, would have. Okay, it's not coming out. I'll take the nuts out. And I'm not sure where my pliers are. I can't find my small pliers, so I'll just use these big monsters, but that is probably overkill. and squeeze thingy and that's out. Okay. Just gonna check this board quick for any burned out components and we look fine. You can see a lot. So we've got this is, so this is signal to the front panel. Uh, 
and this is just going to the power board. So let's whip the old power board out. I mean, I could probably check this in in the frame, but we'll take it out and just check the obvious stuff like fuses, caps, whatnot. So it makes it just slightly easier just to take it out now. going on we got the I need to get this fixed don't I so what do we have we got the FFC connector for the backlight um, this is obviously the backlight this is obviously the backlight circuitry and you can see it's really not very populated now do is we will see if the fuses are any good. So we've got a let's have a quick look at the board first. No bulging on the caps. It's a weird orange cap. Um got bridge rectifier, transformer. Fuses there, so ah, and there's your problem. So if we look at the board, da, 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 da. right there, there is a burned trace. So the trace is completely burned across there. So the live coming in is not going anywhere. I don't know if you can see that on my tear. Lighting's terrible here. All right, there you can go. You can see right there, burned. We'll just check it with the meter to see if there's a connection between the two port parts, and there is no connection between the two port parts. Bear with me. <coughs> okay, I'll try to bring in a bit more. Sorry about everything to do with this video. It's terribly terrible. <coughs> so yeah, the live in comes here and then it breaks. So there's no connection there. Connection to the rest of the circuit is good. So that's a bit worrying that that's burned, but... It is pretty easy to fix. So, what I've just done is I've just scratched both sides and I'll bridge it with a piece of solder and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> now because that's blown, but the fuse, which is here, is still good, that's a bit worrying, but that also means it might be an easy fix. Because I believe the eBay listing said that they checked the internal fuse, but I'm noticing that track burned to. Why is my. The burns are. The track being quite burned, it's surprising they didn't notice that. Okay, so put a big wadge of solder across it. Okay, so I'm trying to get a good view, but nothing straight. 
So, as you can kind of see, got live coming in. Then my big wider solder, which completes the circuit. So big wider solder completes the circuit. Fuse is good. This board should get power now. So <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll put it back together again and do a quick test. And if that's done it, that's gone. Well, if it's fixed it, that'll be good. So yes, I'm really going to have to learn how to be more talkative in my videos and also fix the problems with that not sitting flat. Why are you not sitting flat? Yeah, so video is probably too high and I'm not very chatty. Okay, so it's, yeah, so, so it slides in these little grooves to put the board back in. Not seen that before, but I guess it works. So hopefully this has sorted it because that's going to be quite an easy fix. Especially for £10, I'm quite happy. Well, if it works. I've been using a pretty old 2008 Dell screen for quite a while and it's starting to get a bit a bit long in the tooth. It's got bar, black bars going down it and I mean it, it works so I can't complain. Can't complain. One more. I shouldn't put so many screws back in it, but I'm pretty confident. Oh, you can even see on this where it's exploded the track. Yeah, whatever. whatever I can see it. <clears throat> I can see it. You probably can't see it. My video quality is not the best. First video, learning, whatever, we'll get there. Okay, we'll bring the screen back in. <clears throat> okay, so, we need to plug. Oh, uh, and just as a side note, I should probably mention this first, but if you're playing a power supply, be really careful because capacitors are still going to be live even after 
you know, possibly a week, maybe even a month, they're still going to hold a charge and that could make you not have a good day. And I don't want you to not have a good day. Alright, I'll plug the keyboard in again and we will plug the screen in again. So that's going to go up that way. Hopefully that's all intact. I'm always a bit wary when I have to fix stuff that someone else is fiddling with. I can fix most things when other people have had their wicked way with it, then yeah. That throws everything out the window if other people have tried to fix it. Because, as I said, is the seller said that he's already looked at it, tried to fix it, and psh, well, couldn't, and that wasn't really a difficult fix. Well, not if it's fixed yet, but we'll see. We'll see in but a moment. Just a couple more screws to put back in, and we can test it. from the outside, they're from the outside. Surprising, this whole visa mount was just held on by two screws. Well, it supports the whole screen by two screws. Okay. Put you on there. <sighs> right, you back through all of this gubbins. Right. Connector. Let's flip up its little hatch. Slide the little I'm not actually sure what this is for. This it must have some sort of light up feature on the front, I would guess. Okay, now we'll put the back on loosely. <clears throat> Let's switch back in. Probably have a terrible view, which you do, but I'm sorry about that. Okay. Now, let's test it again. So we had no power of four and no draw. This may explode, so we'll see what happens. And there we go. It's fixed. Well, it was fixed, even though you didn't see it in time. 
Hey, fixed. That was pretty easy. If I do say so myself. Let's plug a table to free. Um, um, let's just, just get some play. Okay, so let's plug. In. Power in and power it on again. Um. Display port. So I'll select the display port. Um, okay, I guess. No? Display settings. Detect. Okay, it's not detecting a display port. Um, Getting no signal on display port. Display port's plugged in. No, it's not plugged in properly. That's the problem. It wasn't plugged in properly. Windows is detecting it, and there we go. There we go. So, yeah, 10 pounds took me um, 28 minutes to fix. Good, good. Thanks for watching.